Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we will be checking out embeds in discord.py. So what is an embed? Well embed is basically text which is embedded in a box that is called an embed. So a human user cannot send embeds unless uh, he, sends a, he or she sends a link like this one here which is www.youtube.com and as you can see that box appeared below which has a nice description and a thumbnail at the right side also we see that this title right here has become a link it's a hyperlink which if we click will take us to youtube.com so bots can send embeds also without links and with links so for this the bot requires the embed links permission so to check if your bot has it go to your roles and check their permissions so as you can see here it has the administrator permission which gives us all other permissions but if it doesn't we need to enable the embed embed links permission right here okay so let's get started let me escape now let's move on to our code so first off we need to define a name for our embed i'm going to call it avc so avc is equal to discord.embed color so there are three main attributes for our uh, defining our basic embed so first of them is color so there are a range of colors you can check the api documentation for a few of them and you can also get a custom color by uh, inputting the rgb values i'll show you that a bit later so here discord.color dot red okay comma and title which is going to be uh, let's say youtube channel okay and description which is going to be the short text below it that's going to talk a bit more about our embed maybe and it can be used in a variety of ways depending on how you're going to use it so description is uh, the post coding tutorials that's it okay and there is one more uh, parameter which we can add to this which is called URL so it is going to convert our title into a hyperlink so here let's just put a basic one https uh, www.youtube.com okay that's simple and now let's just uh, make a mess uh, request to send the embed await message dot dot channel dot send embed is equal to avc so uh, this is the basic format for an embed and the URL, uh, url is optional and so is the description but the title and color are pretty much necessary so let us run our bot and check out what we have so the command is called plus embed so let's type plus embed and as you can see we have a hyperlink title here and we have a small description so the title is often the biggest part of our uh, embed it is the high it has the highest uh, text font and the description is normal text just like all other attributes so now let us add a field to our embed okay so abc dot add field this takes two parameters name which is also compulsory and so is the value so name we can just put subscribers bus and value value can be 50 let's put it 50 okay and in brackets 50 so i will add one more uh, field of this sort and then i'll show you another property of these fields so views and let's put 800 800 in brackets and now let's quickly restart our bot 
and check out what we have. Okay, so let's type our command. And as you can see, it has added like a subtitle and a sub description to our embed. So these fields are basically like sections of our embed. And these take one more property called inline. So by default, it is set to true. But if we put it to false, then none of the embed fields come in line. So now, right now they're in line, which means they're side by side. And as you keep on adding fields, they will go again side by side until they reach three in a row and then they'll shift to the next row. But if we put in line is equal to false, like I'm going to put here, then the embed which has this property set to false will i mean the field which has this property set to false will not accept anybody by its side it will be all on its own in that horizontal area so it's not necessary to add to all of the fields when you have many fields and want them to be not in line it's important to add to the alternate ones so let us check out what we have here let's type plus embed and as you can see the views field has shifted to the next line this is because of our inline property so now let us add some images to our embed so avc dot set thumbnail so just like this small youtube image here we are going to be adding a thumbnail here for which i am taking this image because it is a color box to show you some representation so I'm going to copy link, right click and copy link and right here, let's just take this to the next line, URL is equal to paste it here and save. Similarly, we have another property, I mean attribute called image. So set image and it also has the same parameter URL. So I'm going to put in the same image to show you the difference between each of them. So let us run our file and see what happens. So let me type plus embed. And as you can see, there is one small thumbnail type image right here. And there is a large image at the bottom of the embed. So no matter how many fields you add or when you add the field in your code, the image is always going to be at the bottom of your embed. And the thumbnail is going to be to the right of your title. So as you can see, it has a bit of rounded edges and the size varies. So now let us add one more text and image attribute uh, called the author. So avc.setAuthor name. So this takes uh, two parameters name and icon URL. So name or uh, we can say av creators coding and icon url is equal to paste our url right there so what it creates is like how we have the writer of a book or the writer of a poem the name is written a bit small right above or below the title so here you will see that it produces a bit smaller font of text above our title so which acts like an author and the icon is converted into a circle okay and it's a really small icon so it's perfect if you want to put the profile picture of someone right there now let us add one more attribute called the set footer so as you know as you might have heard in a web page we have footer which is basically a text at the bottom of the page similarly we are going to have text here at the bottom of the embed so set footer again same two parameters but this time name is known as text so text is uh, let us say part 5 and icon url is the same as always and now let us run the bot and check it out okay so let me type plus embed as you can see in a similar fashion to our set author, we have a footer 
but the text is much smaller than everywhere else and so is the icon so guys there you have it we saw how to use embeds in discord.py and in the next video we are going to see what are the limitations of these embeds and some tips and tricks to make your embed look a bit more better so thank you for watching guys and hope you are enjoying these tutorials bye